nestling peacefully in one of the most picturesque settings of the Canadian Rockies is the little town of Banff, a town that is lavishly endowed by nature with some of the most awe-inspiring scenery to be found upon the earth. In fact, the scenic environment of Banff is so colossal that it literally reduces the town itself to a mere speck, a tiny dot of civilization proudly courting Mother Nature in her grandest moods. The broad main street of Banff unrolls like a carpet to the base of Cascade Mountain, and there stops abruptly as if Paul is to penetrate the imposing barrier that blocks its way. The Canadian Rockies are composed of a group of ranges with over 600 peaks, one of the most picturesque of which is Mount Rundle, rising to a crest like a gigantic frozen wave from some vast ocean of stone. Perhaps the most romantic and colorful guardian of the law in the countries of the white race is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, every member of whom has the proverbial reputation of always getting his man. His scarlet coat was originally chosen to convey the strongest impression upon the Indians over whom he had jurisdiction. It was in such beautiful settings as this that Wilfred Campbell, the Canadian poet, wrote many of his most inspiring verses, and it is fitting that we should quote him here. Domed with the azure of heaven, floored with a pavement of pearl, clothed all about with a brightness, soft as the eyes of a girl, girt with a magical girdle, rimmed with a vapor of rest. These are the inland waters, these are the lakes of the west. Here where the jewels of nature are set in the light of God's smile, far from the world's wild throbbing, I will stay me and rest a while, and store in my heart old music, melodies gathered and sung by the genies of love and of beauty when the heart of the world was young. along the famous highway from Banff to Lake Louise, we behold a continuous panorama of variegated scenery, views that were withheld from the penetrating eyes of the white man until half a century ago. In a comparatively brief period of time, the Indian trails of yesterday have been transformed into some of the finest highways in the world, and formerly obscure areas of the Canadian Rockies have become vast playgrounds for the recreation and enjoyment of all people. Mountain climbing in this region, which is under the supervision of Swiss Alpine guides, has become as popular a sport as it is in Switzerland itself. Incidentally, a well-known Swiss mountain climber, in giving his impression of the majesty of that vast sea of mountains, which comprise the Canadian Rockies, is quoted as having said, it is 50 Switzerlands in one. Among the many interesting mountain ranges in this region is that of the Ten Peaks, every one of which is over 10,000 feet in height, forming a picturesque background for colorful Lake Moraine, the Pearl of the Rockies. And now we come to what is generally regarded as the most beautiful setting of its kind in the world, lovely Lake Louise. A broad sheen of beautiful blue-green water, calm, serene, and unruffled, as is all perfection, surrounded with mountains that rise from the lake like the encircling walls of Eden itself. The first view of Lake Louise is as unforgettable as are only a few of our human memories, and this one scene fills the eye completely and perfectly. At the far end, the massive reaches of Victoria Glacier, with its huge canyons of snow, afford a glistening white background 
to the rich colorings of the lake and the attending mountain walls. Chateau Lake Louise, gracefully harmonizing with its glorious setting, is an ideal rendezvous for the thousands of visitors who come here annually from all parts of the world. And it is certainly a great tribute to the genius and forethought of its builders. In the early dawn, Lake Louise is a true self-effacing mirror, reflecting the vast pyramid of snow and glacier at its farther end with such faithfulness that it reveals two perfect images with bases meeting at the shoreline. Reflections in the water, just you and I, sweetheart. Each kiss becomes a ripple that circles round my heart. Be caught in the brush of rocks in the rush of streams in the hush of a dawn. Will our reflections in the water be gone? The famous outdoor swimming pool which is adjacent to Chateau Lake Louise, is built of gleaming stone and is surrounded with great glass walls about 15 feet in height for protection from prevailing winds. The water, fresh as the morning, is piped from a mountain stream and heated to normal temperature before it reaches the pool. And it is here in this paradise of the Canadian Rockies that we reluctantly say farewell to beautiful Banff and Lake Louise. Be near, be near.